so I got a couple minutes. Um, so I was I was in Chris's uh, Phoenix workshop on Wednesday, 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 um, and since I work mostly at an uh, automation company that deals with sysadmins, I think about operations a lot, and one of those things is how to instrument applications. Uh, since we don't necessarily have a New Relic um, agent, I, I was thought I was looking at what Phoenix outputs, and one of the things you'll see in the logs often is the logger will output how long it took to do a response, and I thought, well, if that can do that, then why can't we send it off to um, to StatsD or something similar? Um, so uh, I quickly wrote a plug to ship the response time information and request counts off to StatsD. That will show up down here. Uh, and then I also wrote something that publishes the instrumentation information to um, its own channel. And so what I have here is a Phoenix app that uses a plug that publishes to a channel. And then this is a separate Phoenix app that listens to that channel and will plot the information in D3. So um, here we go. So I'll just do, oh, I also have random sleep times over here, because otherwise it was all sub-millisecond. And StatsD can't handle uh, timers that are less than one millisecond. Uh, and then it would have just been a flat graph on D3, so that it wasn't very exciting. Uh, so I'll just quickly do some refreshing here, and um, I'm refreshing as quickly as I can. Uh, and you see the, the information starting to show up down here, uh, and then the, D3 graphs showing, and you can see that these things actually do line up. Like here's the 21 milliseconds and 21 milliseconds. Um, and the 33 and the 33. So, um, yeah, that's it.